Right, welcome DWA back to another video. Hello, you lazy cunts. The amount of people that don't watch these and probably not take action and not improve their life is unfucking relatable. So, I want you to actually watch this video, sit down, take notes, improve your life, be better. Come on. Right, today we're going to be talking about goal setting, a path to success, and strategies to achieve your dream. Let's start with the introduction, right? Importance of goal setting. Provides direction, motivation, and a clear roadmap for success. Okay, there's no point saying you want to do something when you don't know how you're going to do it. You don't know what goal you want. You don't know how you're going to do it by. There is no fucking point. Okay, be smart. Write down a goal that will actually matter to you. Next, the goal of this presentation is to explore effective goal setting techniques and strategies for achieving them. Right, we're going to be talking a lot about smart goals today. A lot of you are going to hear me talk about smart goals in the future because trust me, they change your fucking life. So why do we set goals? They give us a clear focus and direction for the goals you want to achieve. Okay, If you're setting a smart goal, you say, I want to lose 10kg in 3 months, I'm going to do this by doing cardio 5 times a week and eating this amount of calories. Okay, You've got what you want to do, how you want to do it, when you want to do it by. That's a smart goal. That is fucking strategic. Not, I want to lose 10 kilograms. How? How do you want to lose 10 kilograms? When do you want to lose it by? Why do you want to lose 10 kilograms? You get what I mean? Next, it gives you the motivation. It inspires and motivates you to take action. Okay? If you're sitting there, you're looking at that goal, you're thinking of it constantly in your fucking head. It is impossible to sit there and not take action. It is literally impossible because you'll be in your head 24-7, right? You'll sit there, you watch your YouTube, your Netflix, whatever the fuck you watch, and it'll be running through your head. It'll be running more than you fucking run, you know, you can't. I'm telling you now, you won't be able to sit down and do nothing. You will need to get up and do it. Next, they allow you to measure your progress, okay? They help you track your progress and maintain, maintain momentum, okay? Whether you're, like I say, in the gym, you track what workouts you did the week before, what improvements you made this week, track the calories you ate last week, do you need to make any changes to your calories, anything like that. And next you need to overcome your obstacles. You need to provide a framework for overcoming challenges, right? You don't hit challenges along the way, you don't hit setbacks, how are you going to overcome them, how are you going to do it. Next we've got the type of goals, right? you got your short-term goals, these ones normally they're like one, two weeks, maybe a few months, whatever, nothing more than five months, okay? And these short-term goals, I want you to have a few short-term goals that build up into a long-term goal, because once you achieve the short-term, that's when the long-term is hit, okay? So whether it's, I want to make my bed every day this week, or I want to meditate for 15 minutes or whatever this week, I want to read this book by, the, by Sunday, Okay, short term goals. Now say, these will then go into your long term goals. Okay, whether you want to read 52 books in a year, whether you want to make 100k by January 2026, whether you want to do this, this or this, your short term goals will make into that long term goal. Okay, I want to gain 50 kilograms of muscle. Boom. Simple. Boom, boom, boom. Then you've got your personal goals, okay? These are like your self-improvement goals. These are things you want to achieve to improve yourself, right? These don't affect anyone else. These don't affect your family. This doesn't affect friends. This doesn't affect work. This affects solely you. This will be gym. This will be reading. This will be meditating. This will be fucking podcasts, making YouTube video, whatever, okay? Anything that's just for you to improve yourself. And then you go into your professional goals, okay? Whether you want a new promotion at work, whether you want a new job, whether you want to start a business, okay? Who are you going to talk to to get that promotion? What skills do they need to learn for that new job? How do you need to dress for that new job? How do they want you to look? Do they want you to be in shape? Do they want you to be a fat cunt? Probably not. Okay, simple things like that. Make sure you've got a goal for each thing, okay? You've got goals for you, you've got goals for your profession, you've got your short, long-term goals, you've got your short-term goals. Boom. And that's when you get into the SMART criteria, okay? Your SMART goals. You want to be specific, okay? I want to lose 10 kilograms. How? Why? What's specific about that? 
Right, specific goal. I want to lose 10 in, I want to lose 10 kilograms in three months by running five times a week and eating 1,500 calories every day. Boom, specific. You know what you're going to do. You're measurable. It's got to be measurable. Okay, I want to lose 10 kilograms in three months, okay? How much kilograms should I, how much weight did I lose last week? How much weight did I lose week four? How much weight did I lift last week? How much did I run? How much how many miles did I run? How fast am I doing? Boom, boom, boom. You can measure that every single week, okay? You can measure your progress. Realistic, achievable, right? I don't want to hear your fucking goal be, oh, I want to make a million pound by next year. How? How the fuck are you going to do that when you're probably not going to make two grand a month? Okay? When you're setting a goal, you've got to be realistic to yourself, okay? I want to make a million pound a month. Cool. That would be a high as fuck goal, right? First, you want to do the game. First, you want to figure out how to make 2k a month. Then, once you hit that goal, then you do it 10k a month. Then, we hit that goal 100k a month. Then, you can go to the million. Okay? Don't fucking chat to me, oh, I want to make a million a month. Or well, you're not going to make it 2 grand a month. It's got to be realistic. It's got to be achievable. And it's got to be relevant, right? Some of you will get your goals off YouTube, you'll get your goals off fucking Google, you'll watch some podcasts or this goal, and you think, oh, I can do that. Is that relevant to your life? Right? Are you actually, like, are you a YouTuber? Do you want to make this many videos? Probably not. Why is that your goal then? Right? Do you want to be an entrepreneur? Maybe not. So why do you want to make that your goal? The goal needs to be something you want to do. Maybe you want to be a doctor. Maybe you want to be a lawyer. Maybe you want to be a fireman. Right? How you don't hit your goals? How can you hit a goal realistic to you? And how quickly are you going to do it? Right, include a specific time frame and how you when you're going to achieve that goal. Sometimes you might not achieve it till a week before, a week after, or maybe a month after. It might overrun a bit, but have a basic idea of when you want to achieve this goal by. Vague goal. I want to get fit. Right? That's probably some of your lazy cunt goals. Right. My new year resolution, I want to get fit. How? When? Why? When you're going to be fit by? How fit do you want to be? Right? Some of your shit goals, I want to be fit. Oh, this year I want to be closer to my family. Ugh, shut up. Make a good goal. Right? I will run three times a week for 30 minutes each 30 minutes each session to lose £10 in three months. That is a clear fucking goal. Right? That is a goal that you'll probably watch, you'll probably think that's smart, and you still want to fucking write down because you're probably a lazy cunt. Okay? Write down a smart goal right now. And another thing, right? A lot of you people, when you make goals, you make 10 goals, you make 20 goals. No more than three goals you need. Okay? You need three goals. Three priority goals that you really want to achieve. And then once you finish one of the three, you make another one. Okay? You finish all three, make another three. I don't want to see you guys write 10 fucking goals because then you're overwhelmed. You're overwhelmed with what you want to do when you want to do it by, and you don't do any of them. Focus on three, no more. That will keep you disciplined, that will keep you motivated. And so what are the strategies for achieving your goals? First, break down your goals, right? Divide your larger goals into smaller and manageable tasks. But like I said, your short-term goals into your long-term goals. But it's also got to be a daily schedule, a daily task list. What can you do each day to make sure you're going to achieve that goal? Okay, what days are you going to work out on? What day are you going to rest on? Are oh, you going to have a little shit cheat day? Are oh, you going to eat clean? How? What are you going to cook that day? What are you going to eat that day? How many calories are you going to have that day? Make it a daily step. Create a plan, right? It's kind of the same thing. Develop a detailed action plan with steps and deadlines, okay? If you're going to lose 10 kilograms in three months, okay? I'm going to do this workout a day. I'm going to do the push ball split. I'm going to work out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right? I'm going to do cardio on a Tuesday and a Thursday. I'm going to rest Saturday and Sunday. That's my plan. That's how I'm going to do it. And that's how I know I'll do it. I eat 1,600 calories every day, even on Saturday and Sunday. Boom. That's how you'll do it. And you want to prioritise each task. Okay? You know how I just told you, don't overwhelm yourself with 10 shit goals. Right? Make it free. Same for your task. Daily tasks do no more than five tasks a day. Okay? Whether it's you're doing your workout, whether it's for... One goal for fitness, two goals for work, three, two goals for something else you want to do. And that will give you a higher chance of actually achieving them. No more than five tasks, right? One goal for fitness, 
two for your career development, two for your personal life. Okay, that'll be enough. And stay flexible, right? You don't want to hit challenges, you don't want to hit setbacks, your plan won't always go to plan, but you need to figure out how to stay on track with the plan as much as you can, no matter what you do. If you're in fitness and you're like skinny trying to gain weight and you get ill when you lose take two kilograms in two days, what can you do to get that weight back? Okay? If you have an injury or you have ill, okay, how much time do you need to recover really? How can you get back into the action straight away? Things like that. Plan for a setback. Think of ways you can overcome them. Which leads straight into my point of overcoming obstacles. Okay? You need to identify potential barriers and to anticipate challenges you might face. You might get ill, you might get injured, you might not you might struggle with the calories in the first bit, like have to overcome them. How can you overcome being ill? Okay, you need to have your daily vitamins, you need to make sure you're drinking your water, you need to make sure you're eating clean, you need to make sure you get plenty of sunlight, you need to make sure your body's healthy. Okay? Things like that. How can I make sure I don't get injured? I lift correctly, I do form overweight, I take my time, slow steady sets, don't overwork my body. Boom, sorted. Develop your solutions, I've just given you the solutions, okay? Small things like that. Identify potential barriers, develop, develop, identify potential barriers, develop your solutions, and stay positive, okay? Maintain a positive attitude and persevere through setbacks. Do you know what the difference is between an average Joe and people like Steve Jobs, Elon Musk and that? They fucking failed, they fucking had setbacks, but they kept going, because they knew they could do it, and they were happy the whole way, okay? The best part anything is self-improvement, is the journey, okay? The results will come, you know the results are going to come, you don't be happy when you get them, but nothing is, nothing is as fun as the journey along the way, okay? And make sure you have that support around you. Join my community, right? Join the DW community where people will hold you to a high accountability, where every day people will push you to be better and will push you to keep on going, okay? Where we do mindset, we do gym, we do confidence, we do clothing, we do fashion, anything that will make you look and feel better, we do it in the community. Join a community or make friends with people who have done what you want to do. There is no point sitting with people that haven't done what you want to do because they will not be positive, they're going to be negative cunts, they'll ask why you want to do it, they'll go, what if you fail, blah blah blah. Okay? You want to gain 10 kilos in a, in a gym? Go to the biggest guy in the gym, ask your best friend. Start working out with him, start being his friend. He will give you all the tips, advice, everything. Okay? He will support you through the whole fucking journey. Because gym people are the nicest fucking people I've ever met. I tell you now, a lot of people are scared to go into the gym, but a gym is the nicest place you can go. And make sure to monitor your progress, okay? Track your progress, right? However much you lifted last week, improve that this week. If you've done 50 kg for three reps last week, do 50 kg for five reps this week. Do 52.5. Do 52 kg for three reps this week. Right, improve the weight or improve the rep. Progressive overload it. Okay. Track what you've done and improve it every single fucking week. Right. Whether you do this in your phone notebook, whether it's in a journal, whether you use apps like Nemus or My Fitness Pal or anything like that. Track and monitor your progress and make sure you're hitting your results. And then review this regularly, right? Once a week, do a weekly check-in. Check your weight every week, right? Do you need to gain, are you improving, right? So are you gaining or losing weight? Or are you maintaining where you're not doing anything? Or are you losing where you're struggling to gain the weight or you're struggling to lose the weight, okay? What can you do? Eat more calories or lose more calories? Right, depending on what you want to do, okay? If you're trying to gain more weight but you're maintaining, eat more calories. If you're trying to, Lose fat, but you're maintaining, eat less calories. Same for the bottom, depending on what you're doing. If you're maintaining and you're in a good shape, you're going to maintain that weight, keep at it that way. Right? Review your thing regularly. Look, sit down, see what you need to change, and change it. And like I said, celebrate every single fucking milestone. Right? Acknowledge and reward yourself for achieving milestones along the way. There is nothing more fun than the fucking journey. Okay? The journey is the best part in all of this. And don't fucking sit there and tell me no, the results are the best part when you haven't achieved them, you lazy cunt. Right? When you fucking get to the results, you will get there and you'll go, Ohm was right, DWA was right, 
the fucking challenges are the best bit. The journey is the best fucking bit. You don't want to be stressed. You don't want to sleep, not sleep some nights. You don't want to be angry some days. But trust me, you'll know it. Trust me on that. And even if you don't, make sure you stay fucking motivated along the way, right? If you've done a smart goal, which some of you better fucking have, I tell you now, you lazy cunt, if you're sitting there and you're watching this and you haven't wrote a single smart goal, pause this fucking video and write one now, right? Visualise your success, right? If you've got a smart goal, you know what you don't achieve, you know what you don't achieve by. So imagine that every day. When you wake up, have it in your room. When you do your hair, have it on your mirror. When you go to the bathroom, have it in your bathroom, right? Have it somewhere you don't see it every day. And keep imagining that and, aff and affirm that to yourself that you will do that. Okay? Because every single day you're going to visualise that and you're going to achieve it. And stay accountable, right? Again, join the community. If you write the community, you're going to hit 10kg in three months, right? And when we come back to you in three months, you haven't hit it. Trust me, you're getting bullied. Not in a bad way, but we're criticising you because you said you're going to do something. And if you haven't even put in the work, right, where you've gained not even one kilogram, we're going to hold you accountable to that because we hold you in such a high regard and we keep pushing you to be better every single day that we will continue to hold you accountable for every little thing you say okay that's what it means to be a man you have to be a man of your word you have to be a man of promise and high stature okay whatever you say you'll do you have to do next find some inspiration listen to your podcast read your books Talk to me, join my community where you'll see everybody achieving a different thing every day, which will push you to be better. Okay? I can read books, Napoleon Hill, Rich Dad Poor Dad, I can 48 Laws of Power. Every single goal, every motivation comes. Joe Rogan, right, 75 Day Hard Challenge, everything motivation, everything inspires you, no matter what it is, everywhere. And revisit your goals regularly, okay? Remind yourself of your goals and why they're important. Like I say, have your goals in your bedroom, have your goals in your mirror, have your goals in your bathroom. Right, and remember yourself why you're doing them, and remember what you, what you want to achieve. In conclusion, right, smart goals are the way to go. By this video, by the end of this fucking video, some of you, all of you, better have written three smart goals. Okay? And I want them sent over to me on Instagram right now. I want you to go off this video. Send me an Instagram your goals, send me your step by step on how you're going to achieve them, right? And I'm going to hold you accountable for them. Right? And my, that's my call to action as well. My call to action is for you to do that. And if you guys do it, whoever does it, right? Whoever writes your smart goals, sends it to me, I will come back to you in that time frame that you set yourself. I'll give you a month's access free for the community, okay? I'll make it so that you get it's free for one month, right? That way, it's, I'll reward you, right? The hard work you will do, I will reward you for it, okay? I will reward everybody that improves themselves and re reward everybody that wants to be a better man, right? That's me out, DWA out.